Hi everyone. So I wanted to make a video for all of the pre-meds out there because um, I would have liked to know this and have known this when I was applying. So I just wanted to share um, the different curriculums I came across when doing research on what schools to apply to. And so you know that medical school is going to be four years long, but um, it's kind of hard to know what's in those four years. Um, the first two years are the ones with the most variance and differences. Um, your third year and your fourth year are going to be very similar across medical schools, but at different locations. So your third and fourth year I'm going to talk about first. Um, third year is going to be rotations um, that are the core rotations um, in primary care, so probably family medicine, um, the, the like internal medicine, uh, pediatrics, OBGYN, and psychiatry maybe, or maybe ED. Um, so those are like your core rotations, depending on what school you go to, it'll change. Um, but the most part, for the most part, you'll have internal medicine, family medicine, or something similar um, during your third year. In your fourth year, you're gonna have um, your selective rotations, so things that you, you picked um, and electives and things like that you might want. Um, so this video is going to focus mostly on the distinction between the first and second year um, between certain schools. So let's get to it. So the first curriculum I wanted to talk about is the very traditional lecture based basic sciences sort of course. Um, so you're, you're going to have anatomy, biochemistry, cell biology, embryology, histology, human behavior, immunology, neuroscience, physiology, pharmacology, all the ologies. Um, and so a lot of uh, schools will have all of these things. Most likely you'll have anatomy, biochemistry, and all that, that stuff in your first year. Um, and it'll be the normal like stuff that your body's already doing. And then the second year, you're going to do all the pathology, like microbiology, all the other ologies that are bad, like pharmacology. Second curriculum that I saw when I was applying, um, I saw that there were some curriculums that blocked all of these things into systems. So, so say you want to learn everything about the heart. Um, so you're going to learn the anatomy, biochemistry, cell biology of the heart in that system. And so you'll like learn these things, but it's blocked off into whether or not it's cardio, respiratory, um, GI tract and metabolism might go together and things like that. So that is called like the block or system based um, curriculum. And uh, you're going to do the same like first year is very like just the normal stuff and then the second year is the bad stuff that might happen to that system. So the third curriculum that I wanted to talk about at certain schools um, is case-based learning or problem-based learning. Um, a lot of schools do have a combined traditional and case-based learning, but there are some schools that only do problem-based slash case-based learning where you have modules that they give you material and you just self-study the whole time, which I'm a little bit nervous about self-studying everything, but um, you self-study everything and then you go in a group and you discuss what might be wrong with a certain patient or case that they gave you for that week or like for that day or something and you just go and you meet up with people and you just talk it out. Um, but you have to study on your own. You have to be very self-motivated. So that is something that I did not really want to do. I wasn't that interested in um, trying to study by myself because I know that I'm not quite as self-motivated as I want to be. So yeah, I think there's like a couple schools I looked at that had that sort of um, curriculum. It was like Feinberg uh, School of Medicine in Northwestern and like Bradenton, Lecom, like a satellite school. Um, so definitely check that out if you're very motivated and want to learn everything by yourself, but I am not one of those people. Um, but it seems really cool because then you definitely have some critical thinking in there 
Um, it would be good as a supplement to a traditional classroom base. Like I think Unicom does something like that, but not for me if it was just problem-based with no lecture. <laughs>